Can AI-generated images be copyrighted? Let's have a brief look at this question and I'll tell you everything that you need to know. Important, I am not a lawyer, nor have I studied law of any kind. Ah, uh, that's actually not true. I had one semester of environmental law. Anyway, I am just reporting on what I have learned in different articles and other YouTube videos. Also important, there are many different governments around the world. There's America, Europe, China and so forth. And while there seems to be a consensus around AI-generated images at the moment, this can change at any time. And by the way, everything around this can change at any time, so definitely stay up to date. But with that out of the way, let's finally take a look at the question, can AI-generated images be copyrighted? So the first question is, who owns the right to AI-generated images? And probably very obvious, but the different companies have the right for the images. So Midjourney owns Midjourney created images, Blue Willow owns Blue Willow created images, and so forth. But many of them allow you to use these images commercially. When you, for example, use Blue Willow, you can use the images commercially entirely for free. The same for, for example, Leonardo or Playground AI. When it comes to Midjourney, you need to purchase their subscription, at least their $10 a month subscription, so that you can use and sell these images commercially. Now, when it comes to Firefly, you cannot use any of the images commercially, at least for as long as it's still in beta. Great, so you can use and sell your generated images commercially, but the question is, can you copyright them? And the answer to that is no. Technically, any person who buys or downloads the images can use them however they want. And you cannot do anything against that. Because you or any other human did not create these images. There's one exception to this which will not be useful for most people. But if you alter the image so much that it basically becomes a new piece of art, becomes basically your own work, you can copyright it and you own the rights to it. That usually means that you need to change the image up to 50% of how it originally looked like. Because that means you basically created a new piece of art and now you can copyright it. There are two more important things that we need to take a look at and if you don't pay attention to them you can potentially get sued for thousands of dollars. But before we do so, let's take a look at what we've learned so far. The AI art image generator owns the right to the image. Most of them let you resell the image either for free or if you subscribe to them. Any person that buys your image can resell them however they want. You can only copyright your image if you change it and make it into a new piece of art, which usually means changing up to 50% of the original image. So far, so good. But now let's look at the last two absolutely crucial things you need to know. And the first one is creating art in the style of a famous painter or artist. That's kind of a gray area, but I would definitely avoid selling art that can be distinctly identified as being in the style of a famous artist. For example, selling something in the style of Van Gogh or something in the style of Picasso. Now, this might be okay. Again, I am not an expert. I don't fully know. Let me know in the comments. But what I would definitely 100% avoid is selling something that is in the style of an artist or painter that is currently still alive and still paints images or creates art of any kind. So they definitely have the copyright to their own images. I don't know how it looks like with the copyright to their style, but to be sure, I would definitely avoid that and not sell anything that could resemble their style of art or painting. Again, that's kind of a gray area, but what is definitely not a gray area, but a hard no-go and a definite red zone is creating copyrighted images from different brands. There's no gray room here, this is a hard no, a red, and you will definitely get sued if you sell these kind of images. For example, Disney characters or Avenger characters or things like that. You cannot create Donald Duck or Mickey Mouse and then sell that as an image or as print on demand. If you do so, you'll definitely have to count with legal consequences. But then again, I also think this is just normal human logic. If you think about it for one second, you will come by yourself to the conclusion that this is something you probably should not be doing. 
If you now actually want to sell AI art, for example on Etsy, be sure to check out my full tutorial right over here and also get your first 40 listings for free.